everybody, welcome to the Trey Corner. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome, you welcome. Hey guys, how's it going? It's another day, it's another vlog. I feel like this vlog is going to be very sh short compared to the other two. But anyway, I wanted to show you, I'm in my, I'm in my room. I'm in Kappa Java, but let me just go pull that curtain there. So that my sister is off to work. And I was just sitting here, I'm just going to let, because I like the sunshine in and I'll pull the curtains back a bit later. I wanted to unbox I'm excited about my two literally good buys. I got, I finally got a tripod. Most of 2020, the old tripod that I bought fell, and then the the hooky thingy that you put the camera on, that whole thing, the totally like into pieces. We tried to glue it together, and come out so we can make sure to use it and not spend money, and then nada. And then I tried to get myself a tripod in Namibia and people were just charging a bit too much than i was willing to pay excuse me and then i thought on our way here it's like oh i could technically get myself a tripod from take a lot because i know they have cheap tripods let's unbox it this is the 3366 camera stand tripod with a phone holder literally that's, that's proof that might take a lot plastic we picked it up I think that was one of our first stops yesterday um, before we ended up going to macro and yeah that's basically it it's probably I'm gonna throw away because yeah it won't fit in my suitcase but I like that it is like a carry bag because I can use this carry bag for putting it back for when I travel back to Namibia and ooh, it is so cool in the sense that it's red and that's the cell phone holder um, isn't this a cute one? I love how red it is. I also love that it has those toe, what do you call this, this like uh, stumpy thingies for like balance because at home, my home is a lot of tiles and it's not like those sturdy, it's like very slippery type of tiles. So this is really cool that this is very sturdy. So this is really cool because I can sit down in like a next 20 or so minutes, I'm gonna sit down and film a video. But this is how it is, it's really cool. I like all of this handheld stuff can me to pull it out so i can use it and yeah i also like that it has this clippy thingies so i'll put the link in the description box it's not sponsored it's literally i bought it so this is it and i am really happy with what that looks like oh this reminds me of my brother's one my younger brother also has a tripod a big one and he also has that car button then i could never figure out like what i think is to clip the thing in place you know to keep it there properly in place okay that was one the other thing i'm really 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 happy about is that we made a turn at chinatown yesterday my beautiful precious is this i don't know what the mercedes 2000 manicure and pedicure set and it is a nail drill and file guys i always buy those smaller ones from the chinatown in um, northern industry and i always end up breaking those things because it's like a metal thingy attached to it that you must remove to put the not remove but like um loosen so you can put the metal plate um that you're going to work with but this one is this one and i got it at a bargain i was so excited that's my sister literally everything else that i wanted to buy i literally like abandoned i put everything back because i was like i would rather take this for the price of everything i wanted to buy and have it and it comes with its own metal drills of course i have like three or four of this already but this is so cute i like it i like it it looks like a real professional i'm not mm, disclaimer i'm not a professional nail 
tech person. No, I'm not. But I do my own nails. Oh, yeah, me coffee. But I do my own nails. And I'm not really good at like filing there, like almost my cuticle and whatever, and my flesh there. I'm not really good at filing there with like a normal nail filer. And I don't have cuticle, you know, most people can push back and then there's space in there for the nail bed and then you must put your nail. I don't have that much space. Filing is literally a hassle because I always end up hurting myself because I want to file that those corners and do everything properly. But having a drill machine will actually like lessen my amount of work that I would have to do filing wise. And having this one works because here at this tip here, I don't know if you can see it, but at this tip here, I don't have to remove anything. All I need to do is switch it off and then put the nail bit in there. And then once I'm done, remove it and put another nail bit in here as long as it's off. Right? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. For like someone like me who does my own nails, I'm enthusiastically whew, happy. <laughs> I'm really happy about this machine. And it was so cheap. It was so cheap, guys. Like for the price. Like if you see this machine in like no more, um, what do you call those? Nail shop, no? Places like Planet Nails and all of those shadow nights that sell nail stuff. This could be like over uh, like above a thousand bucks this year. I bought it for under four hundred dollars. Actually, still under hundred and uh, under three hundred and fifty. I bought this year in like fifty well dollars plus rands, Namibian dollars and rands. Literally, it was the same thing. But yeah, they're so very positive about their rands here. So under three hundred and fifty rand, I bought this year, and I'm really happy. I cannot wait to use it. I'm gonna put it back so I can put it in this in the suitcase okay so basically the one i wanted to share with you and say good morning if you are new to the channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am still in cape town be very few vlogs because it's very little to do um you can do wine tasting and all those extra stuff that we usually do when i'm here but we thank God for every day and every life that we have and the breath that we take. So I am going to go film now a beauty video and then I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so I'm now done filming. Um, just looky here. Yeah, yeah, now I can go have some food. Now I can go have some food. But you know, I to twist this eyebrow back and not I twist this eyebrow. I tried to like create a pet the tweezer nicely with this um, closure. But this was when I was starting to try and look at how that line is. I'm probably gonna like twist it out so I can create the same roughness. But I feel like I'm so afraid it's gonna look like so much bigger on the one side. But anyway, I'm done filming. I think it turned out really, really cute. And the contacts are the ones like the contacts other ones like the context of the ones i can't wait to remove my life my my, my, my context so that you can, you, i can look at this look without the context but anyway way here i'm done i'm just quickly gonna pick up my situation here just put guys pre pms or pre menstrual is like the worst thing a person not the worst thing but it's just annoying because your body is like all over the place and yet the thinking thing that i don't want to come and visit and be like let's get this over and done with no i'm the person that must suffer a whole week beforehand Anyway, let me remove the contacts and then clean up.
hey guys so yeah context removed um uh, video done cleanup done i'm not such a side sweep side sweep person bang person that it just feels weird when my hair is like in the middle but i did it for the video i had like did like a center part for the video i think you already saw this like in the situation when i was like yeah filming um yeah but i removed the context do i look like i look different i don't think so um very dark context but anyway did i show you guys my lunch peanut butter yeah so just buttered peanut butter on this like healthy type of bread this is like those fire um doritos chips that was i was eating the other day um and these are like sour jellies <sighs> yeah yeah so the sour jellies i'm like literally craving my body is literally like it's amazing how this happens every month and it just frustrates me like it's the first time that is happening i don't think it's something that i can get used to after so many years <laughs> Because it's always something or the other, but anyway, I'm just glad I'm not like craving coke yet because I know how I can be with coke so bad. Yeah, but now I'm doing, I'm just I'm gonna eat that, drink my coffee, it's my second cup of coffee for the day, and then I'm going to my laptop's already on, and then I'm going to sit and edit. Um, yeah, I told you this is gonna be a very short vlog compared to yesterday, so I don't really know like how long this is going to be, maybe 10 minutes worth. But yeah, if my sister does come from work and she's in the mood to drive, we'll drive today. If she just comes from work in time, we'll drive. Otherwise, I'll just sit here and edit. I think I've already shown you guys me editing in one of my other vlogs. It's literally the same vlog that I'm trying to edit and get it done. But it's such an emotional vlog that is taking me forever to, to edit. So, let me get through this one here. And have my lunch slash craving session. I just don't know. I want, uh, either it's like I'm in between wanting something sweet. My money's everywhere. I know, but that's me. Welcome to my channel. For those who are here for the very first time. Oh, you're gonna put on both, me? Hmm? It's supposed to have two of Okay. It's not really canon. Oh, it's just flat. Oh, no, this one is harder. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's by a plastic, plastic. Actually, no. It's getting it done, sir. What's your name? Do you know what's happening in Dancom? 